I care about my body, that's why I treat it like I would a stranger I'm interested in. I ignore it and hope it'll do something to impress me. <laughs> I think I've been putting on weight because I like to go to diners and I have a, you'll get a kick out of this, I, I have a special joke that I play with a breakfast waitress. Like she'll ask what I want from the menu and I always say, uh, I'd like to propose some toast. <laughs> they laugh, which is good that they get a nice laugh out of me because I don't leave any extra money out. <laughs> In lieu of a gratuity, I always leave my why tipping hurts us all manifesto. <laughs> And I try to eat, I try to eat better, but it's so, it's so expensive. I had this, I was at a restaurant recently and I got this piece of chicken. It cost so much money, it was, it was, it, this chicken was so holistic. <laughs> it had not only been free range, this chicken had been self-governing. <laughs> <laughs> this chicken was unionized. <laughs> given access to spas and gymnasia, apparently. <laughs> Don't get me started with you people. It's weird though, <clears throat> when you get older, you do find that your fantasies change. As you get older, when I was a younger man, I remember I just wanted to make love to a beautiful woman I love very much on the beach, sunrise. Now all I want to do is beat a man to death with his own shoe. <laughs> And it's always, it's always Bob Costas. <laughs> Just finished writing a men's empowerment book. It's called Unix, Unitards, and You. <laughs> Using yoga to unlock the secrets of each man's ghost vagina. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, so my friend posts the other day, my friend, she posts on Facebook, she says, if anyone knows of any jobs of any kind, you let me know. And nobody said anything all afternoon, and finally I said, I don't know, some people are dentists. <laughs> I was talking to my, um, I was talking to my, uh, I was talking to my chiropractor before the show tonight. Um, ex, I should say ex chiropractor. And it's true, you don't really think about a penguin as having innards necessarily, do you? No. I mean, doesn't it seem like you go in there and it's just more penguin? <laughs> like an eraser, almost. <laughs> but you'll find it's not the case. I like seeing people drink beer. I don't love seeing people drink light beer, I guess. I feel like you're an adult. If you want a beer, just get a beer. You know? And I think the same thing actually when I see someone walking a Great Dane. If you want a horse, just get a horse. <laughs> Drink a beer on a horse, that's a good look. <laughs> Samuel Adams uh, perfected it. Uh, no, I've been dating I've been dating this real doll lately. She's a she's a painted Russian wooden nesting doll. <laughs> She's number two in a group of eight, so she's one of your bigger gals. Which I like. And at first she seemed real empty inside. Once I got her to open up, she was full of personalities. Got pulled over by, by a guy the other day. He says, uh, hey, you know why I pulled you over? I said, I don't know, officer. Could it have been my I blow cops vanity plates? 